I'm Dominic Stevens. The New Zealand drought is a fast-moving beast and it's evolving in surprising and interesting ways. We think the main hit to New Zealand GDP will occur in the June quarter of 2013 and what that means is there could be some soft economic data from about May this year through till about September. But when we think about the genuine impact on the New Zealand economy and on New Zealanders, we also have to think about the price of the product we're selling to the rest of the world. And on that front, we've been very pleasantly surprised. The global price of dairy products has risen stratospherically and could go higher from here. Fonterra has announced that the payout to farmers per kilogram of milk solids will be quite a bit more uh, for this season than was previously expected. We're also hearing anecdotes that the decline in meat prices uh, as a consequence of the drought is a bit less than previously expected. Now what all this means is that the, the total loss to the New Zealand economy from the drought will be quite a lot less than those initial estimates suggested. For example, in the dairy industry, the increase in prices we've seen in the last few weeks is enough to completely offset the loss in volumes from the, uh, from the drought and any increase in costs from having to feed palm kernel to the animals. Now this has got some pretty interesting uh, implications. For a start, it implies that Fonterra has got some really hefty market power in, the, uh, in global markets for milk powder, most probably in China. It also implies that the main impact of drought will in fact be distributional. What we're going to see is some farmers will be hit very hard, others will receive a windfall gain, it'll be very uneven. But when we look at the overall hit to the New Zealand economy, probably less than initially suspected. Look, it is, a, it is as I said at the start though, a fast moving and fast evolving beast. Most importantly, we're going to continue watching the weather for some time yet to see how that evolves. Talk to you next week.